You've heard about Scottish independence. Yes. What about Wales? What would happen to the town of Hay if Wales were independent? Good question. Difficult to know. I mean, uh, I think that, uh, if you want my honest opinion, I think we're over-governed as a country anyway. Too many politicians and not enough workers. And I'm fully supportive of the concept of basically a federal Britain. In other words, that each nation and, and region of the country has its own government and, uh, you know, within a federal structure retaining the United Kingdom. I'm not in favour of independence for either Wales or Scotland, but I do think uh, that devolution is a, a very good thing and has enabled Wales to create a distinct identity and uh, laws and a way of doing things and delivering services that are distinctively Welsh and suited to Wales and its people. Scotland might be going independent, Wales might be going independent. What would happen to Hay? Which side would you go? Oh my God, I have no idea. I don't know. Oh, you need to know, don't you? And I don't know. I think Hay should declare UDI, as it did in the past. About a pound and a half. And be its own little separate... We should claim allegiance strictly to the King of Hay and after that the Queen of England uh, and the Commonwealth and join the Commonwealth. It's supposed to be an international community, not this divided into all these different... Exactly. You know, it's yeah. just, just ridiculous. We're, we're, what we really should be about is, is, is getting together rather than splitting apart. So, um, you know, div division is just, uh, yeah, it's crazy. So it ain't gonna, it just, it won't happen. Like, it doesn't make sense. What would we do if Wales were independent? Which side would, would you go? What would Hay do? Because we're half England, half I Wales. See. Well, I would have thought that Hay would not want to go into the Welsh independence side of things. I thought because they're very individual and in many ways Hay is really, dare I say it, rather more English than Welsh. So I think they would probably opt out of independence. Which side would you go on? Wales. Wales? Yeah. Why is that? Because I'm 100% I'm Welsh. And, and proud to be? Yeah, very proud. Yeah. I don't know how that would work with uh, um, with a town like this where it's very much on the border, half of it's in one side, half is not on the other. Um, Berlin know. Wall? No, definitely not Berlin Wall. If Wales were independent, what would happen to Hay? Uh, well, Hay's already independent. Full stop. Do we need another layer of bureaucracy, another lot of civil servants, another lot of the councillors and people voting and whatever? We need it. We just, there's too many layers of bureaucracy. We've got local authorities, we've got county councils, we've got borough councils, we've got we've got community councils, we've got Welsh Assembly, we've got national government, we've got European government. We got we got we're paying for all these people. And what are they actually doing? The important thing is that, and politicians often forget this, is that sovereignty is not there. For the, to satisfy the vanity of politicians, it's there to benefit the people. I think what we need is a leader like Owen Glinda were back. <laughs> and we, we're missing a space now, Richard Booth has gone. Uh, yeah, so we're looking for um, the great pretender.